New York, the city that never sleeps, the city Frank Sinatra loved to sing about, and is put by Hamilton, the greatest city in the world. No matter how you refer to it, Manhattan is easily one of the most popular tourist spots on the planet. From the Freedom Tower to Central Park, to the bright lights of Broadway, tourists have countless opportunities to experience the culture, entertainment, fashion, and amazing food in a buzzing city environment unlike any other. But how secure and safe is Manhattan? Well, lucky for you, we put together a small guide to help you with all you need to know. Let's get into it. Manhattan, located off the Atlantic coast of New York State, is the beating heart of the American East Coast. In general, Manhattan is a very safe city considering its size. However, with 8 million people crammed into a single little island, there are likely to be some safety issues, despite being 82 on the safety index. Let's take a look at some of the risks in Manhattan and where they all lay on the scale. Overall risk, low. Transport and taxis risk, medium. Pickpockets risk, medium. Natural disasters risk, low. Mugging risk, medium. Terrorism risk, medium. Scams risk, medium. Women travelers risk, low. Top water risk, low. Moving on, let's look at some of the safest places you can visit in Manhattan. Times Square. If you love theater, definitely visit. It's the indisputable hub of the theatrical industry, with 41 Broadway theaters dotting Midtown between 41st and 54th Streets. Chelsea Market, a must-see in the meatpacking district for foodies and shoppers. Soho, 5th Avenue, for fashionistas. Central Park, a classic. If you are big on nature, you should definitely visit because you can find a castle, admire countless statues, and even relax in Sheep's Meadow. Strawberry Fields, this one is a bonus for music lovers. John Lennon wants to be specific. At the Strawberry Fields, you can go to see the Imagine Peace Sign tribute. We've told you all about the safe places to visit in Manhattan, so here are the ones you should avoid. Visitors to Manhattan should avoid quiet, desolate, or very residential areas, especially at night. The financial district, for example, while lively during work hours, turns dangerously silent in the evening. Furthermore, while Central Park is beautiful during the day, it is not secure after midnight. This is also true for other city parks. Never ever board an empty subway vehicle. If a car appears to be empty, there is generally a reason for this. Look for an occupied car or wait for the next train. While not necessarily dangerous, certain residential areas are less suitable for visitors. Tourists are more likely to stick out in neighborhoods like Harlem, East Harlem, Washington Heights, Inwood, and extreme eastern Alphabet City, making them easier targets for opportunistic criminals. These areas also have a more muted police presence, thus it may be more difficult to locate an officer to assist in an emergency. Let's end with some safety tips to remember. Research where you're staying. Keep your valuables safe. Don't purchase anything from a street seller. Avoid going to public parks late at night. Never board a subway vehicle that is empty. Stay clear from remote areas. Don't be scared to seek help. Pay close attention to everything. Okay guys, that concluded our video. Click one of the four videos on the screen right now. See you in the next one. Till then, take care.